Hello guys, welcome back at Night Leaf, and today we will talk about one of the best movies that have ever been made. The Lord of the Rings, there are some concerns regarding Lord of the Rings movie plot for a period of a long time. As we all know they stretched The Hobbit a bit further, which was not so necessary in my eyes, I won't say Hobbits were bad movies as some people try to make them, but obviously it wasn't anywhere near to Rings movie, there are millions of fans out there, who truly care about Middle Earth, thousands of people visit New Zealand every year to visit the locations of Lord of the Rings movie. After much anticipation Peter Jackson gave us the Hobbit trilogy, which was good, but not so good as the first Middle Earth films, there were many criticisms regarding the Hobbit, some were saying Peter Jackson should have quit after Lord of the Rings, some said, it's a horrible adaptation of the original book, but despite all these criticisms I can assure you, every Middle Earth fan will love to watch more movies in this setting. The Battle of the Five Armies is not only the final installment in the Hobbit trilogy, it is almost certainly Peter Jackson's last journey into Middle Earth but this doesn't mean that The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings will never be adapted into films again. It is likely that one day, another ambitious director will pick up the enormous task of turning Tolkien's books into motion pictures, however, Given the huge success of the initial Jackson trilogy, it seems unlikely that any director will do so in the near future. At present the film rights to The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings are held by Warner Brothers, they were initially bought by United Artists, who struck a deal with Tolkien's publishers to purchase the rights to both books in 1969. With The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings brought to film, studio executives are no doubt looking at what other Tolkien stories they can adapt for the big screen and the most obvious choice left is, of course, The Silmarillion, it's the only major work from the father of fantasy literature, that has yet to be translated into film, but it is only because the Tolkien estate doesn't seem interested in having the work chopped up for the big screen. But even if a movie studio did own the rights, there is a good reason for the book to never be adapted. Unlike The Lord of the Rings, The Silmarillion truly is unfilmable. The Silmarillion is more like a textbook than an adventure tale. These characters are very much complex, the plot and the way Tolkien wrote, it is quite hard to make a script out of it, but fear not, it may be hard but still possible. Despite all these facts, even if there is any studio dare enough to make this huge fantasy world turn into a movie series, it would be very hard for them for a few reasons. First, the film rights to the Silmarillion have never been sold and it remains unlikely that they ever will. It has been speculated that copyright protection on the Silmarillion will expire in 2043 and will then be free for anyone to adapt under UK law, copyright protection lasts for 70 years after the author dies, Tolkien died in 1973. However, if Christopher Tolkien is considered an author of the work, and there is no reason why he, as its editor, shouldn't be, then copyright protection will last 70 years after his death. While the legality is therefore somewhat ambiguous, it is clear that the Silmarillion will not enter the public domain for a very long time, but there are some rumors that Christopher Tolkien's agreed to have a sit-down about the future of Silmarillion movie rights, well nothing is confirmed yet, but still we can muster some hopes after all. So thanks for watching the video and let me know what do you guys think about the future of Middle Earth movies in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video, like and subscribe for more videos till the next time. Peace.